Hello everyone, my name is Venture the Gamer. I've been playing World of War, and today I'm going to be going over all the perks in the vehicle perk class category. Let's get into it. But before we do, I do want to let you know that this video is a lot smaller than the other videos, mainly because there's not a lot of perks in this category. We're going to start off with the perk water cooling, which is going to decrease deterrent overheat speed, so we can use a machine gun longer and more often. We unlock Grease Bearings at level 2, and this is going to attack the rotation speed of said turret. This means faster tracking and a faster turning speed for the turret. At level 12, we unlock the Ordnance Training Perk, which is going to increase the overall reload speed in the main gun, which means we can fire more rounds at a faster rate. And when I mean main gun, I mean the explosive one, like the big tank, like the one that goes boom, ch -ch 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 -ch, boom, ch -ch 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 -ch, like the explosive one. Once we reach level 28, we unlock the perk Lead Foot, which is going to increase the overall movement in a tank by making them faster, which is great in firefights and getting to a flank. Now the last perk is its Coaxial Machine Gun. The perk allows drivers to fire a machine gun on the front of the tank, and this is going to act a lot like the tank from Blood and Iron, where you can press the grenade button and it's going to shoot a machine gun all across. Not really that great because it's not really accurate, but it's just still it's still good to add more pressure. That's the last perk. I hope you have a great day. I plan on going into the guns next, so this is the last perk video where we be transitioning into guns. I believe I'm going to be doing these bolt action rifles this week. I hope you have a great day and game out. Let me know what you want to see. Bye.